News. Breaking news right now at five. Water testing results have been returned to the Ohio EPA from East Palestine. In a release from Governor Mike DeWine's office, officials said the results show no detection of contaminants in raw water from the five wells that feed into the village's municipal water system. The Ohio EPA is confident that the municipal water is safe to drink, but many people are still waiting to get more of their questions answered tonight. With that part of the story, let's go live now to First News anchor Dave Sess, who's in East Palestine. All right, well, there have been hundreds of uh, questions people living near the trail to rail on site have had for a, cut for a week or so, and those were answered this afternoon in that hall behind me. But if that's not issue enough, there's another issue between Coke and Walnut Streets. While we were down here this afternoon, this huge tree uh, fell on this house. It's certainly a large tree. It's certainly an old tree. I don't know if the wind was uh, behind all of that, but it certainly fell on this house. I asked the homeowners there. They said nobody was injured in that incident. But again, to these legal questions, some of them are getting answered that people have, but there are also some which aren't. There's uh, many legal issues popping up, and most of us, we, you know, we really have no idea on how to handle any of those. Well, today a group of lawyers were joined by a real estate expert, also a toxicologist, to share some ideas on handling some of those complex issues. They explained personal injury and property damage claims, then spent an hour answering questions. People wanted to know if they should take the reimbursement expenses or the inconvenience fee. Is the water safe? An 80-year-old asked if she will see any money from this. Some circumstances are different, but one thing's the same for everybody. All I know is I went to bed one day and woke up in the middle of a uh, toxic super site the next day. So it's like, I don't really know other than that. Uh, but uh, I hope that Norfolk uh, and Southern will do the right thing. Uh, the lawyers also told the people to assume Norfolk Southern will do nothing to help you. Now, they encourage everyone who has a rash, a breathing problem, or a medical condition to get it checked. A few people expressed that the doctors have told them they don't know what to test for in this situation, and they were told they could seek uh, medical help treatment in larger cities that might help them just a little bit better. That's the latest from East Palestine. Dave Sess, WKBN 27 First News.